put another verse. If you want to enter life, obey the commandments. See that verse 9 and verse 17? Now go down to verse 18, please. Which ones, the man asks, in other words, which law should I obey? The man says, Jesus said, well, don't do any murder. In other words, don't, don't, don't kill nobody. Don't commit adultery. No, Jesus went, and he, he listed some of the Ten Commandments, okay? And you know, this guy is a Jew, obviously, so every Jewish boy, they knew the Ten Commandments, and they, you know, were basically trying to obey that. So, so Jesus had him, you know, Jesus had him. He says, uh, be honest, you know, don't, don't tell lies. Verse 19, honor your father and your mother, love your neighbor as yourself. The young guy got excited. He said, ha, I've been doing this since I was a boy. I'm covered, man. I, I must be get life now. But if you had life, how come you're still asking for it? I want to check something here now. If you obey all these laws, how come you come to me and ask me for more life? Here's a trick. What do I still lack? Verse 20. Underline that, please. That's the question of every religious person. They got everything. They got the candles, the incense, they got all the services, they sing the songs, they do all the little hop and jump, they do the little jab, they have prayer meetings. What else do you lack? I'm going to tell you right now because this guy was a religious man. Also, he's very wealthy. He lacked something. Jesus said, tell you what, verse 21, if you want to be perfect, now the word perfect here doesn't mean without flaw, it means mature. If you want to experience maturity in life, if you want to experience the best kind of living, he says, go and sell all of your possessions and give it to the Christ. And you will have treasure where? In heaven. Then come and follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had what? Great wealth. Hey, the guy was Bill Gates, okay? Then Jesus said to his disciples, he turned them, he said, hey guys, I tell you the truth, man. It's hard for a rich man to enter what? The kingdom of heaven. He's not talking about going to heaven. This man want to know how to enter full life. He said, tell you what, the way you enter full life is you got to have this experience of not just keeping these list of laws, but there has to be an application of them. Let me explain it to you in a minute. He says, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter what? There is the kingdom of heaven. He's not talking about going to heaven. The man says, how do I live, live life with that? The fullest. He says, some things you got to miss. I mean, some things you're missing. Look at verse 27. I'm going to throw this in, please. When the disciples heard this, they were astonished. Verse 25, and they said, Oh my God, then no one can get saved. Then. Okay. Peter owned a fishing company with James and John. And Jesus Christ was just asking, You know, tell the guy, he give, every, he give up everything. Peter says, Oh my Lord. Why well, did he take my fishing company? I mean, you know, how we get saved? How? This is tough, he says. He says, The requirements for kingdom life is so high nobody could do that and Jesus said the man is impossible but with God all things are possible look at verse 27 Peter then said ha huh, then we have left everything to follow you right what then will there be for us and Jesus I tell you the truth when all things are renewed you will sit in leadership positions look at verse 29 and anyone who left houses or lands or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children for my sake will receive a hundred times how much a hundred times as much and then in addition will inherit what eternal life many will be first will be last last will be first okay i want you all to listen to me please just in a few minutes this is a very powerful story okay this man had money so money is not solutions to good life this man had position so having a top position is not the answer to good life. The man had youth. So having strength and a, and a healthy body is not enough for good life. So everything that you're trying to get, the man had. And he says, what else do I lack? 
And everything I listed is what, you, what you're seeking right now. You want a healthy body. You want to be young again. You're trying to get a lot of money. And you're trying to get positions of power. He said, look, been there, got the t-shirt, got it all. Still lack. What else? No, no. Let me, let me add one more thing to the list. He was religious. The devil had me chasing a gold statue. He went to church, kept all the laws, still empty, lack. So Christ said, tell you what, now listen to the answer. He said, if you want to have kingdom life at the highest level, here's the test. Take everything that you claim you work for and own and turn it over to the government. Give the government back its things. Okay, let me tell you something. It's impossible for you. Your wife just got it. You ain't got it yet. Okay, she got it. A lot of folks sitting there looking at me, they ain't get it yet. Okay. It's impossible for you to call Jesus Lord and own anything. That's the point he's trying to get at. See, in a kingdom, you don't own anything. Let me say this, write this down. In a kingdom, there's no private ownership. So you cannot come to him and say, I want to submit to your government. I want you to be my king and Lord and then still hold on to your money or to your land or to your business. He says, no, that, that, that. he says, your problem is you schizophrenic. You claiming to be in my kingdom, but you have private ownership. Impossible, he says.